Hi there, it's Kelly Van Washenova here with Educational Technology Services here at Denison. I'm going to show you how to set up a YouTube account so that you can share and distribute videos to your students. Now, one of the reasons you might be interested in doing this is because when you put a video on YouTube, it's going to have go ahead and convert it to a standard definition, which is going to make it easier for students to access and play within browsers. Uh, we know that there have been some slowness issues reported with other tools. So the great thing about YouTube is once it's in there, it goes to standard def and it's easier for them to access. Now I should add that it's not going to handle really large videos well, and if you try to upload something that's like an hour long, it might not work because you could lose an internet connection or you could have bandwidth issues. Now personally, I have put videos up that are about 30 minutes, but I haven't gone over that. So if you have a longer video that you're trying to share, consider breaking it into sections or making it smaller and then you can add it to YouTube and put it as a playlist for them to watch. All right, so let's get started with going over how to set up your YouTube. So to get started, I'm in My Denison. And when we go into My Denison, you can see that you have your little G over here. And that's for your standard Google tools, your Gmail and your Drive and all of that. But something that a lot of people don't know is you have a YouTube account through your Gmail. So I'm just going to click on Google Drive to show you an example. But if you're in Gmail or in your calendar, you'll always have this little, we call it sometimes the waffle menu, where there's a bunch of dots. Those are all of your Google apps. So if you click there, it's going to drop down a whole bunch of different applications you have available as part of the Google suite. Now, if you scroll a bit, you'll see a whole lot more, and one of those is YouTube. So when you click into your YouTube, it's going to come up here, and I have no idea why these are my recommendations. Um, I do watch funny dog videos, but I don't think I've Googled Jesus Christ Superstar. Um, maybe Easter? Anyhow, in here, this is your YouTube area that is dedicated through your Denison email. And I know that I'm in my Denison account because in this top right corner, do you see my face is up there? That's my little Denison icon. And if I click on it, it will drop down and it sees here that this is that Google account, okay? Make sure you're not in your personal Gmail. Make sure you're in your Denison one. And then over here on the left, I have different options within my YouTube. All right, and if I click on library, if I have existing videos, it'll show my history also. I've been watching some really great stuff here, uh, but it will show me the history and any playlists I've added. But before you do any of that, you're just at home on this home page, and that's fine. Oh, look, it changed. What you're going to do when you're ready to go ahead and upload your video, so this is after you've actually recorded it, is you're going to click on this little camera with a plus in the top right. And when you click on that, you can see the option for upload video or go live. So let's click on this upload video. And this is what you will see. It's a big area where you just put the file in. So you could drag it and drop it there, or you can choose the route of select file. And for me, it's in my desktop here, but wherever you have that video file saved, you can go ahead and navigate there. And let me see, I must, I have a video file there, so I'm just going to grab this one. And I believe this is actually my Tuesday tech tip that I recorded this week. So I'll hit that and then I'll choose the option for open. So now it's going to start uploading. And I can see down here it says 4% uploaded. So it's just showing me here the status of the video upload. By default, it's going to take the title as the name of the video. So I'm just going to change that and you can also add a more thorough description there. 
down here, it has this playlist option. Now, if you already have your playlist set up, you can just go ahead and select it from a list here. I created a demo one for someone. But if you want, you can even make a new playlist right here as your video is uploading. I'm just making that the title. And then you can choose visibility. You'll probably want to just make it unlisted. And we'll talk a little more about visibility in a minute. But I'm just making a new playlist. And now we see it there. Checking and hitting done. So, so far I've had my video uploading. It's still going. It's at 37%. All YouTube videos that you upload are going to have this audio or audience question. So make sure you hit no, it's not made for kids, all right? And that's all you need on this step one for details. Clicking the next is going to take you to this video elements. There's not usually a need for the purposes of sharing out a lecture or um, any kind of videos with students to really put anything in here. So I'm just going to hit next to go to the visibility so on this visibility step, you'll see here you have save or publish options. Now, a lot of our ETS account videos, we have made those public so that they're just resources out there. But for your class purposes, you might want to choose unlisted. And what that means if it's unlisted is you can copy that link and give it to students or whoever, and they will only be able to access it if they have the link. That doesn't lock it to just the Denison community though. So if you had a student who has the link, they could potentially share that out. Um, if you want to lock it down and make it private to where only the people you add can access it, then you can choose private here. And I will show you how you then add the people. The next question is schedule. You can schedule a date. We're not going to do that here. So I'm going to click next and before I hit next, I want you to notice that it's still uploading, right? So, oops, or I can hit save, not next. I'll hit save. And it's going to tell me here, it's going to keep uploading and just make sure you keep the browser tab open until the upload completes. I can close this little window by hitting close, but I will want to make sure I do not close this up here. All right, so that was a short video and right on time it finished uploading. So now that it's uploaded, you'll see here that it says 0% process. So processing is just getting it ready to put on YouTube. Um, uploading means the file has already gone, it's been put into YouTube, but the processing is getting that video ready. So here we can see that it says processing, but I can already click on it. And this just takes me to my details. So when I first hit the upload, I filled all of this out, but now I'm taking a look back so I can see what's happening. So in here, remember when we talked about the visibility and I chose to make it private. So the private is right there. And private, like I said, means that you're going to have to actually add the people to be able to access it. And where you do that is up next to the save button in the video details view. And if you recall, I got to this view by clicking on the video. All right, so if I go back here, these are my channel videos and I just clicked on it or you could click this edit there. That's how I got here. Now up in these three dots next to the save button, I can see options. Now, once my video is done processing, I will be able to download if I wanted to re-download it for whatever reason. Um, I can also delete this video when I'm done, but the share privately, since this is that private visibility, you'll have to click that share privately so that you can go ahead and add the people that you want to see it. You can do it to where anyone with the denison.edu login can just go ahead and view it. That might be the simplest way. Um, so you could do that, or you can enter email addresses. 
and it will start pulling up the Denison directory there as well. So I can share it with people. You could also paste a list of your student email addresses, um, download from the roster tab in Notebook, copy all those email addresses and paste that in here. You can have it notify them via email, or if you'd rather not send them an email right away, you can turn that off and then you could always share that link with them in the Notebook documents tab if you wanted. So once you have that set up, you can hit save, go back to YouTube Studio, and again, my video is still processing at the moment, but we can see that it's going to be private once it's ready. Oh, and is it ready? Yes, I believe it's actually ready now. So in here, if I want to share that link, and let me just hit refresh. Oops. And let me just hit save. Make sure everything is saved. And always hit save whenever you make changes. And there we go. <laughs> That's my daughter's stuffy. Um, but once it's done processing, you will see you have additional options. Like you can set a thumbnail or you could add your own down there. Yeah, I look excited in that video. And then over here under your face, or not your face, over here under whatever you may have as your thumbnail, you can see the video link. That's your video URL. So you can click copy, and that's the link you can then just go ahead and post in your Notebook Documents tab. All right, and I'm going to actually go and show you how that would look. So let me just pull up my Notebook and drag it over for you. Okay, so I just went to another tab and I pulled up a Notebook uh, course. So I'm, I'm in one of my courses. I choose the course from the left. I'll just grab this course instead. And I could go to the Documents tab in my Notebook course and choose Add Link. Should And you could name it um, Lecture for four, nine, class, or however you want to name it. And you can go ahead and paste that link that you copied from the YouTube page there and hit create. And then once it goes up, you can see here's that external link I just added. So students will be able to click on that and have it open in another tab where your video will then play. And you can see down here it is also private. All right, so that is a way that you can easily get your videos put right up on YouTube. If you're wondering how in the heck do I get back there because I need to edit something, let's take a look at those steps. So when you're ready to go back into that YouTube channel again, remember that waffle menu we discussed. If you click on that, scroll down, you have your YouTube. And over here, you can see your options for where you can go. This is your menu. And it has actually that video right there. You can click on your library. And that's what I was in. So it has my history at the top. And then it has playlists down here that I've created. When I click show more, I can see all of it. But in here, you also have your videos. This is where your uploads are going to be. So right now I only have my one upload in here, but that's, that's where it's going to appear. So if you realize after you've put your videos up that you want to put them all on a playlist, you can make the playlist after the fact. So what I would do here is I can go ahead and I can go into my video. So I'm in my videos on the left and I click those three dots. So those three dots are a universal symbol for more. And then you can click save to playlist. So it's going to pull up your playlist that you already have, but you can also just click create new playlist. Or maybe it's like W101 lectures, I don't know, 
however you want to do that. Privacy by default will be public, or you can do that unlisted where you can just share the link or you can make it private where only you can view. So the downside of that private is it's not like the private for the videos where you can invite people. Now the playlist will be completely private just for you. So what I would recommend is doing unlisted because the videos themselves are only going to be allowed to be viewed by the people you've invited to them anyway if you've made the videos private. So I would just do unlisted there and then hit create. So when I'm looking over here at my library on the left and I scroll down, I can see now that I have this playlist here. And when I click on view full playlist, I would see all of my videos and then I'd be able to click the share button and copy that link. So you could put all of the class videos on one playlist and just give them that single link to be able to access them, and that is an option. Thank you for watching this video on how to set up YouTube to share videos with your students. I hope you found it informative. If you have any questions or need any help with any of the Denison University tools, please go ahead and email the service desk. That's servicedesk at denison.edu, and they will route you to the best person to answer your questions. Thank you. Have a great day.